It is 6.13 in the morning, and I just got a text from that same call and text free number from yesterday. The text message says, she's alive. When I read that, my heart completely dropped. I texted back, prove it, and a picture of my bestie was sent. She seemed to look unbothered. Now my mind is really scattering for clues, looking deep into the photo since they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Suddenly my phone rings and I answer it immediately. It's my bestie, but she is talking as if nothing happened. As if she wasn't missing yesterday and had me losing my mind looking all over town for her. I yelled at her, asking her where she had been. She started talking like her memory was erased. She told me she didn't even remember being with me yesterday. Now I am totally confused and upset. I asked her where she was and she said that she was home in her bed and had just woken up. I want to go over to her house so badly and get to the bottom of this situation, but I am grounded and not allowed to leave the house. As we are talking, she starts to slur her words as if she is either drunk or drugged. Then the call drops. I got another text message saying, come to my house, I need you. Now I have to figure out a plan. When my mom wakes up, I will ask her if she has plans to go out today. And if she does, I can sneak over to my bestie's house to make sure she is really okay. I know something just isn't right. Great news. My mom is leaving at noon to go to a wine tasting event with a few of her friends a few towns over. That gives me enough time to check on my bestie and make it home before my mom gets back. I am so anxious. My mom still doesn't believe anything I told her last night, but it's okay. Today I get to the bottom of it all and get my bestie back. I just received another text. This one says, don't come here. Another text comes in and it's an address that looks like the same address from the party last night. What in the heck is going on? I decided to call the number and got no answer. I then called my bestie's phone and it's still going to voicemail. Now I'm getting nervous all over again. This has to be a real sick, twisted game. I mean, what did I do to deserve this? As soon as my mom leaves, I'm getting dressed and going to my bestie's house first. I swear she better be home. If she is not home, I will have the Uber driver take me to the other address. It is daytime, so I don't think I would need him to wait for me. Plus, I get to save money that I definitely do not have. My mom is finally gone. I'm heading downstairs to my Uber. I hope it is not the same Uber from last night because I'm seeing the same name. Wait, let me not forget my mace, and I will pack a knife just in case. Suddenly my phone rings, and it's my mom telling me not to do anything stupid while she is gone. Little does she know, it's definitely too late for that. Let me go get in this Uber and save my bestie. She is definitely going to owe me a big explanation after this.